All right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I got the Plex app working on the Steam Deck. As you can see here, some users are noting that the sign-in button doesn't seem to do anything, but this guy has a fix, and it apparently works on not just this app, but another application that he mentions in the comments there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that little snippet of code down in the description below so you don't have to type it out manually. But here's the problem. You hit sign-in, and nothing. Nothing happens. So you're going to want to open the terminal, run that command. I'll put it in the comments. And then after having restarted that service, the pop-up web browser desktop service, it should fix it to where now when you hit the button, you can log in via web browser. So that's the main issue with Plex right now. Uh, it's not an issue with Plex, actually, and I feel bad for the guy getting, getting dinged on the stars for an issue that's actually a, a Linux problem within the Steam Deck itself. So if this helps you, hit that like and that subscribe button. Here I'm just going to show some other extra goodies that you might run into while setting up the Steam Deck. I'm just going to add my library and try to run a video to see what it looks like. Test the audio in the video. Alright, so the audio works, and knowing that it works, I'm just going to add it to my Steam library real quick. So if you haven't seen my previous videos on how to add a non-Steam game, I'm just going to go to the bottom left-hand corner, add a non-Steam, click the game or application that you want to add, and bada-boom. Restarting into the gamepad UI now, I'm going to go over to non-Steam. And we'll see if we can get this working with, with Steam inputs, and just make sure the desktop resolution looks similar to what it looks like over here. And immediately we can see that I've now added bars on the left and the right. We're not, we're not full width, it's full height. It's hard for me to confirm this because when I'm capturing it on this XR1 uh, in the gamepad UI mode, I don't have uh, a display, it blacks out. When I'm in the desktop mode, it duplicates the displays. So problem one, I'm gonna go into the community layouts and just down to somebody else's layout real quick. But we're going to go ahead and back out all the way of Plex and go to the properties. I'm going to change the gamepad or the game's resolution to a common resolution like 720p just to see if I can get a non letterboxed video. And already I can tell that Plex is opening all wide. So that's good. The, the next problem would be if you have video that's 4x3 or like old school DVDs that are full screen. Now you're going to have bars on the left and the right of the video, and then on the top and the bottom. But most of my content already has bars on the top and the bottom. I have very few DVDs, so I prefer it to be full width if I'm going to choose an unsupported resolution. So I'll keep poking around. I'll try different desktop resolutions to see if there's one that is this aspect ratio of the Steam Deck, but more common, because that 1280 by 800 was not doing it. But if this helps you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get that channel to 500 so I can eventually monetize this bad boy. But I appreciate you on the Saturday, and I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you again.